Hey, it's KMA. How's your day today? And welcome to the corner. We are back on the Mysticraft server, and as you see, this is the thing I was working on last time. And some of the areas are really, really dark. Um, I have a little rule in my my time. Some people have the two by two rule. It's like above my head here. There's four blocks that are the same that are right next to each other, and they won't allow that. I get away with the two point two by two rule, but once it becomes more than you see that one above my head. The th oh, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Yeah, right there. The one that's right above my head, right there. That terracotta, the white terracotta. That's that three by three, and there's like um nothing breaking that up that is a rule by mine and that is uh, the three by three rule by me by me is not a, not a good this one is okay because it's two by three you know the wood that's above my head there but that up there three by three no 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 so what i think i'm gonna do in order to light all this stuff behind me is take any places that are more than the uh, th or three by three or more and stick a light in the middle of it initially I was gonna have um, constellations in the sky here to bright lighten up the area because I want people to see the lights up there you know not the lights the you know the blocks and stuff but um that wasn't working out too well that was turning into a big pain in the butt as much as it sounds cool to look up and see constellations up there uh, we don't have a good block to do that yet we need a floating Block that I can put up there. I mean I could put a sea lantern up there or um, a uh, Glowstone up there, but I really would rather have um, a Block that's like half the size of a normal block and just that floats You know the seed the lantern that they're coming out with in the next snapshot would be awesome But uh, it has to stick to something so it kind of ruins it Also the other things that we're gonna be doing in this episode today is we're gonna uh, change these lapis blocks here out For obsidian and make this into a portal and get rid of the portal that's outside the portal uh, is outside is badly placed and it is not cool it's not a great place for a portal so I'm gonna move that over to this position right here and behind my head here is gonna be another room the same size as this room but it's not gonna be circular it's gonna be square and that's where my storage is so that this will be my main area for my base and um, so I just need to get my storage area cleaned out so that's basically what we're gonna do we're not gonna dress it up we're just gonna dig a big hole put some lights up in here and move the um, move the portal down here so let's get to work so this is now um, the main way into my place instead of having to come out on the beach and work in your way down towards wherever that hall was I can just go like this and be at the hall so that is done so basically what I, uh, I do is I make a bunch of these I don't know how many I really need let me get some blocks I can pillar on all right and what I'm gonna do in these places where let's just choose one of them we'll choose this this guy over here let's see we got one two three one two three so there should actually really be if the world is right <laughs> there should be one here and one there and one there uh, well let's see two first let's go with two and see what happens we'll put that there we'll put that oops the only one of those please put that there like that oh my god i did it again one of those please so i'm gonna do that there and i'm gonna do that there and i'm gonna do that up there then i'm gonna add one there and there there and there so there'll be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten per side so i need 40 glowstone and 40 of these um i kind of like the, the jungle things here 
and then that goes pretty well with the terracotta so I'm gonna get that done and I'm gonna start working on um, cleaning out the back side of that and possibly making my my nether entrance to down here to look a bit better than it does so I'm gonna do that and I will get back with you and I'll and hopefully this will light up the area well enough i really kind of just wanted it dark with some s satellites or like uh, constellations and have that lit up but yeah it wasn't looking good so i need to change this look up a little bit i finished the lights in here and now that you can see the ceiling it looks a lot better i, I noticed that i made a couple of mistakes but i uh, fixed them as i was putting up the lights Nothing major. Um, I'm just seeing if there's any other mistakes in that area. No. So now uh, this room's nice and lit up. Obviously, we're gonna get rid of the torches at some point. There's a floor that I'm trying to design for it. Ooh, 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 bat, bat. Oh, missed you. Come on, come here, come here, come here, come here. Ah, slap the bat. Yeah, I was just gonna slap him from the sitting there. So I moved the uh, portal over here. And as you see, uh, I started cleaning out. Ooh, noises. <laughs> I started out cleaning the, um, the areas over here. This is about as big as the room is going to be, I think. I don't know. I have a feeling I might push it back another, another bunch of blocks. But we'll see how it looks when I get all this stuff out of here, all this junk. Uh, even though it looks like there's a ton of caves in here, I was doing the top layer also, and um, there really wasn't many caves. Um, so that's how high it's going to go all the way up there. So, uh, But first, I think to clear this out, there is something that is needed, and I'm going to go get it, and that is a beacon. And I do believe somebody's selling a beacon. We are now in the shopping district, <clears throat> and somebody here is selling a beacon, or mini beacons, um, and it's over here where the beacon is. That would only make sense, right? This is from Foxtails. He made this awesome thing, so I don't have to kill a um, a uh, a wither. Bringing home to begin. I'm pretty sure this island's safe at night, so I'm just gonna stay out here. And um, it says one diamond each, but I did bring over a diamond earlier. Forget all the fish. I was fishing, and uh, it didn't give me a beacon, so I uh, it would just shoot it back out at me. So I'm gonna throw this in there. And there it is. There's my beacon, just like that. So, I'm gonna I'll go back and see if I have enough uh, uh, make the beacon, enough iron and stuff to make an actual beacon and put a haste three on there or a haste two, whatever, and uh, quickly mine that area out. I might as well show you the area out. We got the redstone shop here. Um, we've obviously got the, the the you know the good stuff. I do not know what's down there. Um. We got rockets, red glare, we got Mesa stuff, we got the pie shop, which is all pie. Um, we have a shulker box back here. We have everything that you really want. The glass shop, and what's this? Okay, those are the different types of glass. And there's, you know, anything that you really need is here. All you got to do is mine, and I don't mind mining, so I do it. I also wanted to show you this thing again. Um, that's a... Uh, Wither Fortress or a fortress with a whole bunch of platforms made and in this place with a the flying uh, slime block contraption pushing everything to the center. And I was here the other day for um, just basically to repair this the nosy picker so I could um, turn the thing on so I could continue digging because I have mending on that and uh, the amount of stuff I got here I was the only one here look look at that already 
And here comes the thing. So you take his looting sword or his uh, Spite 5 looting sword. I imagine there's got to be a looting on this. What's on this? Looting 3, Smite 5, Sweeping Edge, and all that. But you stand here for XP. And the place actually, like, loses... Like, my game has trouble keeping up sometimes. Because just so much uh, happens. And we had to wait. Once the uh, thing starts, you have to wait for the uh, platforms to fill up a little bit, then for the flying machines to come over. So it takes a minute before it really starts kicking in. But the amount of stuff you get out of here, this and this is uh, based on a Nimbomb, I think it was. Yeah, and this is also built by Fox Stills, the guy I just got the beacon from. So now you know how he um, got all the wither heads to do it. And as you see, it's like just an amazing 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 and the main thing for this is that everything within the area is completely um, half slab so nothing can happen so let me put his sword back up there because that's something I always forget about let's start that away let's get this back over there might as well kill a couple of more things That pigman just does not want to die. Okay, there we go. And everything uh, ends up coming over here and gets dropped off. See, I... I actually... There was two there last time I was here, so... Um, everything gets dropped off here. It's really a great... Great setup, so... Um, Nimbom kicked it. I don't know what all this is going doing, but... Uh, did I did turn this farm off. We're just gonna make sure before I go. Yeah, all right, let's get out of here. So I'm gonna find the center of this area and do my best to plop down a beacon. So probably somewhere around here. So um, let's just kind of just, we'll, we'll throw the beacon right there and we'll just dig straight up or dig straight down from the top. Kill the bat, kill the bat, kill the bat, bat. That? <laughs> oh, you are toughy. Die, bat. Die. True story, actually. I have, um. I live, like, right on the edge of a river. It's called the Imperial River. And, uh. There's a bridge for cars to go over above the river. And underneath the bridge, um. Uh, thousands of bats live actually it's one of the biggest um, group of Brazilian bats I think that's what they are Brazilian bats and if you go underneath there during the day it like freaks the hell out of people people canoe and kayak down the road and just to look up at the um, bridge to see thousands of bats out there it's kind of uh, kind of scary if you don't like bats but um, I see them all night long because especially when the Sun is going down um, there's a ton of them around my neighborhood, and it's not like they get into our hair or anything, and then they're not, they don't give us any problems. As a matter of fact, they eat the bugs, so we like them. It's just, you know, some people don't like bats. Aww. We'll have a moment of silence for bats. Alright. So, as you see, I added the beacon. Oh, we got another bat. We'll leave him alone. Um, and I started cleaning out this area as you see about half of it's done let me uh, give you reference um, this is the room we did last episode and now we're working on this room um, and it took a good three diamond pickaxes actually three of these guys um, you know efficiency five mending on breaking fortune three picks three times I've had to redo this pick to just to get the half of this room done and I'm gonna uh, work on the other half uh, real soon like today and I'm gonna have this done before the end of the video because this is basically all I'm gonna do um, yeah, just to show the size of this room and also I think Unfortunately, I am going to go out another, I kind of, this room is square right now, and it doesn't really seem square to me. 
it's 37 by 37 so I think I'm gonna go out another third so I'll probably go out another 13 blocks this way hey guy hey I want that gravel block the worst sounds in the game right there all right so we got four of them from him nice looting swords are great the greatest thing about having a haste two beacon is this give me a second oh man that guy just committed suicide oh that was bad how do you get down there still kind of surprised at uh how some of these guys are and this is kind of a scary look another guy is gonna try and kill me now are you gonna fall to you fell to your death too wow these skeletons are suicide skeletons wow that's just not right so am i suicide came me uh -huh, let's see now i'm oh i was lucky there oh lucky dog all right let me get back to, back to the top well actually i don't need to be back to the top this is what i kind of wanted to show you let me get my health back i guess i should uh, make a platform for my area because last time i was able to make that jump and it doesn't look like i can now but uh this is the best thing about the beacon oh yeah oh I could do this all day long I oh that's just like music to my ears the only problem is is there's no like diamonds at this level but man one of my favorite things to do in Minecraft oh, is just like get rid of all these blocks and the only problem with that is that you tend to like ruin your pickaxe and then you just like Go, oh crap there's no there's nothing left of my pick and you're gonna run away and redo it I should have actually made a bunch of picks but I don't have access to a lot of enchanting books um so oh hey can I have that piece of coal back I like my coal thank you that's my coal so I'm gonna um, finish off uh, destroying all the blocks in here and um i'll show you what it does look like when it, it there's another guy you i'm trying to work here work all right if i were be doing this game i would have different level zombies okay mobs you get to, once you get diamond armor on you could be beat up by mobs all day long i can have creepers blowing up on my block that I'm standing on and I'm still getting like no no death whatsoever no heart loss or anything basically so I have uh, blast protection I think it's on my pants or something and the same with skeletons and stuff they just don't really do it unless you get cornered by a bunch of them which is very rare mobs are just an annoyance so I would have different levels of zombies different levels of skeletons different levels of all the different mobs that come after you some of them are like the ones now and some of them are like maybe five or ten times more powerful I'm not talking about health wise but i'm just talking about attack wise say a normal zombie gets you two hearts without any armor on they should have one that gets four hearts another one that does six hearts for each hit and another one that does eight hearts with no armor on they gotta make it a little more because basically the mobs in minecraft now are basically just annoyances there's they're not fun they're just something to get drops from and something to play around with every once in a while and it's just if you're building they're just annoying and you don't want the mobs to be annoying you actually want them to be difficult and challenging and right now minecraft mobs are not difficult and challenging even the new ones like the um phantoms and stuff really not much to deal with so uh different levels you know yeah, give give some of these mobs strengths maybe i don't know they do that with the spiders and even still then it doesn't really do much but they need to do something because mobs are more annoying than they are actually difficult and fun to play with so that's my little two cents on mobs i'm gonna get rid of the rest of this to, uh tonight and then uh, i'll show you what it looks like and probably 
that might be it till next time. There's a, there's a few things scheduled for the Mr. Craft people, so keep your eyes open for that. That should be pretty awesome. And uh, I'm gonna just going to get to work. All right, a little uh, bit of change of plans here. We are at Queen Voldorius' base, and he is, you know, I, I died here a couple of times. I, I even died here earlier today, and uh, we're doing the big Mr. Craft build project here and we're digging down a whole bunch of areas down to the nitty-gritty of the world i've been doing some of this today and i recorded some of that so basically what i'm gonna do is play you some of that i'm gonna and um holy crappioli and, and um i will talk to you uh, afterwards to see how everything goes but this is today's project we're making a big time lapse for queen voldorius and his his wonderfuls stuff and things and it looks like the dad needs some blocks picked up Woo! So I'm gonna pick up some of his blocks and I'm gonna um, get to more some digging and then we will uh, see what's going on later on. Nothing's going down. Why, why is that? Should I should I fill? Come on, which one's? What? Haha! I found an empty one. Let's go. Let's go do that. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go help uh, the dad with some stuff and then um, yeah, go watch the video and. That'll probably be it. I'll finish my thing um, later. Archangel, no, you are not here. Look at my 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 uh, thing, Archangel. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop playing around and I'm gonna get to work. Hopefully this time I won't fall into your hole and die. Yeah, it's a bit more. Be careful as you go in through that little entrance bit because there's... Uh, it's a it's a bigger hole. <laughs> okay, I'm turning around and getting my elytra. <laughs> Smart idea. Yeah, and I, I would honestly say that probably be the smartest thing I'd heard all day. Okay. Well, this is a big hole. You need a bigger hole. How <laughs> much? <laughs> so far, this is just a baby hole. <laughs> No, you need to make a much bigger hole. I have a uh, fresh pick on me, which will probably last like two minutes, but not very long. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I thought so too, but holy crap, am I going through them fast? <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Well, why yeah. are you digging such a big gaping hole? <laughs> Underground city of the undead. Oh, okay. Says, he says, matter of fact, really, like it's the most normal thing in the world. Yeah, for him it is, though. Mm hmm. Well, I can't do a city in a small area, so I needed a large area to do it in. And you decided that. Chunks. Seemed like a reasonable amount. Oops. My elytra oh. didn't work. Oh, you just landed right on me. Did I? <laughs> Um, oh, lo lovely. Valderius, well, did you pick up a bow? Yep, I got a pair of diamond boots. I have, a, I have a witch following me in here. Okay, that, that's <laughs> everything I had. So, I'm coming. Boots? Oh dear. Oh, sorry, oh. made a mistake. <laughs> Is she fixing that mistake? She she's logged out. She did log out on the area I'm digging. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Micromanage! Yeah. <laughs> Micromanage! Oh shit! See, that's something I wouldn't even have thought about. I would have just died. <laughs> then your hole would have claimed me three times. <laughs> I think you would enjoy that. Don't, don't count your deaths before the hole's dug. I know. <laughs> Still time. Oh, I... You've been after it, dog. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. I appreciate you watching. Um, we still got some digging to do, but I'm ending the video now because I'm going to go watch Patriots kick some butt in Minnesota, hopefully. And then I will talk to you guys later. Oh, that did not sound good. Okay. Something's blowing up around me. So have a great day, guys.
follow us all. We're all good people. Or at least we try to be. <laughs> all right. Have a good day, guys. Bye.